have here the 1991 Rickenbacker 330 in fire glow finish. Um, it's a very nice guitar. Uh, the controls, you want to look out the volume and tone knobs for the bridge pickup are located here. The volume and tone for the neck pickup are located there. Um, so slightly different uh, format than we see in other um, manufacturers. And it has this unique feature, uh, this knob here, which affects the neck pickup only. And when you engage this knob, um, okay, here the knob is all the way off, which is clockwise. Um, we find the neck pickup has slightly less output than the bridge. So that's nice if you're using your bridge pickup for a rhythm. I'm sorry, your neck pickup for your rhythm. And then you want to flip uh, to the bridge pickup to get more of a lead boost, which is commonly done. Um, so that's handy, so there's no adjustment needed, no pedal to step on or anything. You just flick to your bridge pickup and you have a, a, um, a boost. Um, but this knob here, again, affecting the neck pickup as you roll it counterclockwise. Gives a significant uh, output uh, boost to the neck pickup. And uh, I'm in this Vox AC15 um, and I've got the amp itself on the... just breaking up a little. You might think it's clean. The harder you hit it, the more the amp overdrives, and so with that neck pickup, very clean without the boost engaged. To, to break up pretty nicely, engaging the boost. So again, the 1991 Rickenbacker 330. What's it called again? Fire, Fire. Glow Finish, yes.